I've never been a fan of ordinary life. I've always felt inspired to travel and get into nature. I was four when I first ran away from home in diapers and rain boots to go exploring. Hi, my name is Brian. For the past two years I've lived full time in a van. I've saved a ton of money on rent, which has allowed me to travel and work in my own business. All my electrical needs are powered by the sun. I use less than 10 gallons of water a week. The only utility bill I have is my phone. And I live a healthy vegan lifestyle, preparing most of my own meals right in here. I have a camping shower, but mostly I swim in the ocean and shower on the beach or at the gym. Keep watching and I'll show you what I've built, how I live, why I love it, and how you can do the same. My story didn't start out so well. A couple of years ago, I got scammed by a wealthy businessman after a year of designing and renovating his luxury home. Financially crippled, I sold everything I owned and moved into a work van. For a long time, I was filled with anger and despair. But one day, someone walked past the van and said, Hey, you've got a cool setup there. I learned there was a whole subculture of van dwellers and people modifying vehicles to live and travel in. That's when I started seeing things in a new light. I stopped feeling sorry for myself, stopped seeing myself as homeless, and started realizing my freedom and thinking of the possibilities. I started making money again and was able to afford a new van. I immediately tore it to pieces and started building and retrofitting. It was a mess and required more work than I had anticipated. In addition to re-engineering the van into a tiny home, everything from handles, switches, tires, brake suspension, fuel system, transmission and engine needed repairing or replacing. In the end, it was well worth it though. Check out what I've built. Welcome to my office. My living room and lounging area that converts into a kitchen. That converts into a bedroom. That converts back into a living room or a seat fitting three people for a road trip. The bed is made with two by fours, a thick sheet of plywood, some hinges and a layer of two inch foam covered with blankets and a sheet. Best sleep I've ever had. When you live in a van, I quickly realized that water is going to be your main concern. So, I built a freshwater system with a tank from eBay here, a fill hose out of an extension cord holder, and an air hose with a fitting on the end. Over here, I made a solar panel rig that's adjustable according to where the sun is at any given time. In reality, they actually generate so much power that I hardly ever need to adjust them. I cut a hole in the roof and I installed a vent. This keeps the condensation down, especially at night when you're sleeping inside. Making my own healthy foods is very important to me. So I bought myself a fridge. I keep most of it in stainless steel canisters like these, berries, vegetables, everything fresh. I made a sink out of a cake pan mounted on top of a water tank and it works quite well actually. I had to make my own boxes to maximize the space in here completely and that works quite well. I've got all of my spices and herbs, antique backing, my laundry basket is right back there. And the roof vent doubles as a kitchen thing. Down here, I keep all of my superfoods, which I put in my smoothie every morning. Side 
here I fabricated an awning out of a banner, two tent poles, and I jammed the whole thing into an aluminum channel. And I cut it and then bent it up with pliers and mounted it on the roof. The awning is held down with bungee straps onto drawer poles that I picked up at the local hardware store. And the poles here fit into a couple of flag post holders that I got off eBay. And then you just roll it out like so. The banner here turned out to be much cheaper than by an actual awning canvas. And as an added bonus, I got to design everything here in Photoshop. My entire wardrobe literally fits under the seat here and the dressier stuff up on the clothing hangers. This is my survival jacket, fits into that little pouch and becomes this big winter jacket. All this accommodates my everyday clothing needs. Everything from a hot summer day to climbing an icy mountain somewhere in South America. from fabric, aluminum rods and velcro and they allow for complete blackout throughout the night to a dim light throughout the day. I did install a brainwash box as well but it's good for tailgate parties and watching movies at night. The remote control holder here is made from the backing of a chalkboard eraser. I cut it in half and glued it to the panel. I converted all the interior lights to high efficient LEDs. In here I got four deep cell marine batteries that hold all the power from the solar panels. This is the solar controller that controls the voltage from the solar panels coming into the batteries. The inverter transforms the 12 volt current from the vehicle into 110 volt just like you have at home. Back here I got a white water raft in case I come across a river. On the side here we have a fire extinguisher and a battery booster and tools, power tool, the things that are most sentimental to me. These are coffee mugs I got from my late grandma. This is my backpack, my two person survival tent, a sleeping bag, sleeping pad, a space blanket, solar charger, road atlas, my survival knife, the Recon 1, the world's smallest cooking stove. When you're out in nature and snow off your solar panels is with a machine. This is how good snow chains are. over the vehicle. Check this out.
Life is short. Don't look back with regrets. I hope this has been an inspiration. See you next time. Keep watching, I'll show you what I've built. How I live. How I live and why you can do this. And all that one. Alright. Alright. In here I keep... Fuck you.